The X-Pac version of Scott and Sprout's Adventure is well known for being the inferior version of the game. Released for PS3, Xbox 360, and PC, this game was only developed in two months, and because of that, not only is the final product different in some ways, gameplay-wise, from the Towards for Bob version, but it is also full of glitches. Now, it is nowhere near the level of Trap Team, but that doesn't mean there aren't a few glitches that can really make or break a playthrough, especially for speedrunners. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Winged Boots glitch in SSA. It's not really the most complicated glitch out there, all you really need is to go to a level with the turret section. Go through the level until you find the first turret, where you're going to want to place the winged boots magic item on the portal. Don't worry if you don't own it, it's relatively cheap to purchase today. Once you put the item on the portal, you're going to want to hop in a turret, then quickly pause the game and go back to either the ruins or a different level. Once there, you will notice that, while you still have the speed boost from the winged boots, there is no longer a timer at the bottom of the screen. That just means that the glitch has worked, but why should we just stop there? As you know, in Skylander Sprouts Adventure and Giants, there is a game mode known as the Heroic Challenges. Playing these challenges reward your Skylander with permanent stat boosts. One of the stats you can increase from the Heroic Challenges is your speed stat. As you can see, my legendary Trigger Happy here has most of his heroic challenges completed, and his speed stat is at 98, but next to it is a little plus icon that says 9. That is because I am wearing the little devil hat, which increases my speed by another 9%. Now, I know this isn't the fastest hat in the game, that would be the winged hat, found in the Dragon's Peak Adventure Pack. Unfortunately, I have yet to play the Dragon's Peak on this save, so I do not have access to that hat at this time. But as you can see, the combinations of these three elements make you extremely fast. Here you can even see that when I build up enough momentum, Trigger Happy can kind of glide up over low objects. This is commonly used in speedruns to bypass things such as enemy gates or gates that require keys. So that's it for the video guys. I do know of a few other glitches in this game, so if you are interested in seeing a full video all about the glitches in Sprout's Adventure, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, like or subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will hope to see you in the next one.